Hey guys, it's Elise, and on today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a waffle cake. This is a Nutella strawberry waffle cake. It kinda looks like waffles, it kinda looks like cake, it's smothered in Nutella, so where can we go wrong? Let's get started. You'll need a mixer, it doesn't have to be this fancy, but a mixer will help here. I've also got some flour, and I'll leave details down below as to whether you're using self-raising flour or plain. I've got some softened butter and some oil, some super fine or caster sugar and some water, some unsweetened cocoa and a couple of extra large eggs. I've got some Nutella and I've also got some strawberries for our decoration and I'm using a little bit of just non-stick olive oil spray or cooking spray here. You'll also need some scissors, a Ziploc bag and of course you're going to need a waffle maker to make our waffle cake today. I've got a whisk attachment on my mixer today, but I've tried it with the paddle and I've tried it with those little two beater hand mixers. It works the same every time. One of the things I love about this recipe is it is literally a dump and stir recipe. So in goes all of your ingredients. You wanna put in your flour, sugar, and then your cocoa. Then in goes your water, your oil, your butter, and your eggs. Turn that mixer on, start it just on a low speed until your ingredients have just started to combine, and then you can turn it right up to high speed for about a minute and a half until that mixture lightens in color and kind of resembles chocolate mousse a little bit. Preheat your waffle maker, and I understand not everyone's will have all of these settings, so just choose either one or two for lightness or browning because you don't want to overcook your cake here. Give it a good spray with your non-stick cooking spray and make sure it's really well coated. And then you wanna pop a large spoonful into each of your little waffle compartments. Don't overfill them as the cake will rise and cook those for about two to three minutes. I just tested mine by checking that they spring back when touched lightly in the middle, just like a regular cake. Now the trick here is to turn your waffle maker off and not to touch your little waffle cakes because they're gonna be really, really fragile. I used a knife just to trim through the center of them so they all separate really easily, but I'm gonna let those completely cool in the waffle maker before I even attempt to take them out or else they're just gonna crumble and they're gonna fall apart. Perfect, so after about an hour or so, they're completely cool and you can see now how nicely they pull out. I'm just gonna slide a knife down the side and gently pick them up. Don't be too rough because they're certainly not as sturdy as a regular waffle. Now you wanna fill your Ziploc bag with a bunch of Nutella and I will warn you, I used nearly a whole jar of Nutella on this cake so it's gonna be utterly delicious. A little bit of Nutella on your cake board or your cake stand just to stick down that first waffle and then I just use my Ziploc bag to kind of pipe it kind of in swirls. You don't wanna completely coat it here cause it's gonna be a ridiculous amount of Nutella otherwise but I let those swirls sort of dribble over the sides a little bit. Now I'm gonna put my strawberries around the outer edge first, making sure that they sort of line the outer four edges so they're poking out nicely for all of my layers. And then I'll fill the middle with all of my other strawberries. Once you're happy with your strawberry coverage, you just wanna put another little bit of Nutella on top of the strawberries so that your next layer of waffle cake has something to stick to. It's kinda of gonna look like a big waffle sandwich. Wait on, have I just invented a sandwich? Probably not. So you wanna repeat that through all of your layers. So you wanna do your chocolate swirls and make sure that you're letting them dribble over nice and generously on the side so you get that really kind of dribbled effect once your cake's all together. More strawberries, more chocolate, more waffle cake. And repeat. So once you get to that top layer, we're gonna do things just a little bit differently. Take your piping bag filled with Nutella and you may need to do a refill here because we've used a bit of Nutella, but you wanna fill in all of your little waffle squares. Once they're all completely filled in, you wanna go back and just make sure that it is in fact dripping over the edges. Make sure that it's dripping over kind of in a cartoony like way. You wanna use the back of your knife just to smooth down the top and it doesn't have to be perfect here. And that's gonna create kind of the top of your cake effect. It's supposed to look a bit like frosting. Finish it off by garnishing with a few fresh strawberries and there is your essentially no bake waffle cake. Looks like waffles, tastes like cake, smothered in Nutella, what's not to love? If you know someone who would absolutely love this cake, you should definitely either make it for them or at least share this video with them so they can make it for themselves. I recommend trying to put this cake together about an hour or so prior to serving. You don't wanna make it the day before because those strawberries are fresh and they will start to turn pretty quickly. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's perfectly good excuse to eat cake for breakfast. If you're not already subscribed to My Cupcake Addiction, make sure you do for all things sweets and baking. And as always, thanks very much for watching.